What's up guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking detailed uh, section of a foundation in Revit with the whole foundation wall that shows the connection between the ground, the, the walls, the bearing walls and all of the other elements that go in there. And this won't be only a Revit tutorial, but also I'm going to be explaining just some of the basics on how do these sections work and what's the point and why we have all the materials and elements that we do have. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit and I already have something modeled over here, so I have this kind of a a floor over here inside of the building. I have this foundation wall and on top of that I have a regular wall and if you want to learn how to create basic walls or stacked walls I'm going to leave some tutorials in the description of this video. And here we have another floor. This will be kind of a a little, little floor that's outside all the way all the way around the house and I'm going to explain why do you need to have this in all of your projects. But let's go now and add just the foundation. I love that so I can show you in this tutorial. So here I'm just going to go here to structure and let's find wall foundation and let's let's just select this one, select the wall and there you go. So we have our foundation. And if you want to learn more about foundations, also I'm going to leave the tutorial to that a link to that tutorial in the description of this video. So let's just go here in level one and let's create a section through this. So I'm just going to be placing a section like this, open this up and okay, it's way too big. Let's let's make it a bit smaller, kind of like that. Let's bring this in and let's bring this in like this. Okay, so we have our section over here and let's just turn the detail level to fine and let's leave it to 1 to 150. That's okay. And here's what we have. So I haven't really set the materials for this. I left that for the tutorial so I can show you everything and how to set all of the materials. But first, here we have the ground. This is the ground level at minus 85 centimeters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually be placing some topography around here so we get that nice ground hatch all around. So I'm just going to go to the site plan and go here to massing in the site topo surface and for the elevation minus 85 that's the ground level and I'm just going to be placing four points like this and just go finish and now if we go here in our section if I open the section up yeah that's what you have and this is kind of a detail section but actually how this usually works you have kind of a larger detail and it usually encompasses the whole house and then what you do you go here to the view tab you find call out and then you create a call out like this of your of your detail like that you select the detail and then you open this up and now this is your your call out or your detail window and then you can maybe extend this a bit and now here is where you actually work out, work with your call out or your detail. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is here, this, this is actually just kind of a sidewalk around the building and we're going to elevate it by five centimeters. So just here go five, because it's kind of a little bit into the ground and a little bit above the ground. And the reason why you need this is when it's raining, you don't want to have rain just coming alongside of the building and going straight to the foundation through the ground because it then erosion starts and soon enough you're going to have a lot of this, uh, this this ground underneath your foundation being carried away from with water and then the the, the building will slowly start to sink so in order to 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 prevent this you need to create this little kind of a skirt around the building and then water falls over here and it's not affecting the foundation as much so that's why you need this over here okay so let's just now set all the materials so let's do the wall first go into edit type go here into edit and here we have the structure material that's this over here and that's just going to be some sort of a block so make sure to leave it at structure and here let's go with something let's see what we have let's type in a block masonry unit yeah let's keep this one and here for the pattern I'm just going to change the pattern to some horizontal lines kinda like this go OK and yeah let's just leave it at that OK next thing we have this then we have this 12 centimeter 
here material so what is this this is the thermal insulation so this is a thermal insulation layer and for that we're going to use some of those foams so I'm just going to start typing poly and we're going to get here some polystyrene oh it's one of those pink foams that everybody uses it's an extremely cheap insulation material so I'm just going to hit apply okay so we've got 12 centimeters of that and usually thermal insulation is you have a hatch and if you color it usually color it yellow so here I'm just going to change this to yellow just to have a yellowish color and I'm just going to use this light yellow so it's not too protrusive okay apply okay yellow it's a warm color that's why you use it and then here we have just some brick so I'm just going to type in brick and let's load this common brick in. It's just a residential brick. Yeah, this looks nice. And for the graphics, I'm just going to leave it at, at at nothing, and you'll see why later on. So just go brick. Okay, so we have that one. And here for this material over here that's on the inside, this is kind of the molter on this side, or you can basically use some gypsum wall boards. So that's what I'm going to place. So let's just find gypsum wall board yeah so we've got two centimeters of that as well and then just hit ok and then we have core boundaries set to finish let's see what's the problem okay so this I'm going to change to finish one and this one here I'm going to change to finish two this is all okay now this works yeah so we had a little warning but everything's fine just hit apply okay and as you can see this is what we get right now okay so let's set this here this here construction the the floor construction so go, let's go into edit type hit edit and here we have a bunch of materials so the first structure material it's 10 centimeters and that's just basic concrete so let's search for concrete cast in suit and I'm just going to change this pattern to a uh, diagonal cross hatch one and a half millimeter and here I'm just going to give it a secondary hatch and I'm just going to make it real light gray and I like to have kind of light gray with this crosshatch, diagonal crosshatch. I think it looks real nice. So set that to that. And that's the structure layer. Then this one underneath, that's kind of a substrate. You usually place your concrete on some gravel. That's usually just how it works. So here I'm just going to search for some gravel layer. And let's see, gravel, yeah, we have gravel and it doesn't have any any cut pattern. So here I'm going to add some cut pattern. We don't really have any nice cut patterns for gravel, but we can use this dense sand. I think this looks fine enough. Okay, so we've got that gravel. Then we have a membrane layer. So this is the hy hy hydro insulation, insulation from water. So let's just find some damp proofing. Okay. You always need to have this when you have your floor that's actually on the ground on earth so it doesn't pull any water inside of your house. That's not something you want. Then this is another thermal layer. So let's find our polystyrene. Okay, so we've got that and this is thermal. Okay, this is membrane. This is finish one. This should be some sort of a concrete but a kind of a finer concrete so I'm just going to use this sand cement okay this one and let me just change here from this to a crawl a hatch but I want a diagonal hatch let me see what we get here okay I'm just going to use this diagonal down 1.5 millimeter okay okay and here for the background let's add a little light gray as well here so hit ok and here for the final one this is just going to be the real floor so let's search for floor and let's use this oak flooring and let's use these vertical okay that's fine and just go ok and let's set this to finish one finish two and this should be finish one let's leave it at that okay so just go ok and we have a problem core boundary finish finish let's see again
Okay, so maybe these finishes aren't right. So let's do this at finish two. Go OK, and this one at finish one. Okay, we seem to have some problem. Let's see, like this. Row two, so this one is wrong. Okay, let's just set it to something else. Let's set it substrate. Let's see, layer three. Okay, let's move all of these down into the core boundary. Maybe then it will work. Okay, now it works. Okay, you need to ha hack around a little bit just to make everything work. So just go apply and this is what we have. So here are all the layers and actually this concrete layer over here needs to be here at this level because it needs to attach to this concrete wall over here. And let's just set that concrete walls material. So let's just go inside and set this to concrete cast in suit so let's search concrete cast in suit okay and we already set the material for that okay so now we need to bring this up and the value of that will be so you just go from here to here and it says 18 centimeters so just select it and you offset it by 18 so now it works and in order to eliminate these dark ugly black aligns everywhere between elements you just need to go here to modify join and then you're going to be joining all of this geometry kind of like that and join this to that okay this looks a lot nicer and as you can see now everything flows together real nice and here let's just change this so this should go edit type and here for this substrate material let's add something like uh, let's add sand or, or sorry gravel so search for gravel and this will be just this little light concrete that we used later, earlier on so this will be this sand cement okay apply okay so this looks real nice okay so we've got this finished and now we also need gravel underneath here this footing and how do you add that? So let's go here to foundation top layer, or sorry, this is a uh, foundation floor plans foundation top. Okay, so this is what we have. And let's just change this to fine. And let's go here and type in VR for view range. And let's change these to unlimited so we can see VR unlimited apply. And if we're at the ground level, oh yeah, and we need to change this to wireframe. Let's cancel out of that. Okay, now we can see our foundation. So I'm just going to go here into architecture, floor, and just create a rectangle going all around it. And let's just go here into edit type, duplicate, call this gravel. Okay, go into edit type, delete this or bring this up and then delete this one. And now we have only the gravel layer, so just go OK and give it this offset of minus 30 and just go finish. And let's go into our callout over here. And yeah, it's right underneath. And then we can go to modify and join geometry and we can actually join these two. So you're always pouring concrete on a gravel kind of a you always prepare the ground with gravel. OK, and another thing, there is two types of earth over here. So we have this representation this hatch that represents all of the earth that was already there but over here you need to cut or to dig out this this ground or earth and then you need to basically place it back and kind of stomp it in, in place so this is kind of the one that naturally settled and this ground over here and you need to fill everything here with the ground that's kind of what you add on later on so to add that we're just going to go here to annotate and find this region and we're just going to use a rectangle and let's place a rectangle kind of like that and now let's use lines like this. So this will basically represent that 
that part of earth that was kind of first dug out and then filled back in and it didn't settle naturally it was artificially settled there and this, these we're going to place with vertical lines and you just go finish and you get something that looks like this that's how your callouts should look like so this is the natural earth that wasn't moved at all and this is the one that was kind of placed there later on artificially okay one more thing this here you usually don't have sand all the way to the end you have this kind of overlaps and goes underneath so how do you fix that you need to go here to uh, to the view tab and you need to find cut profile now we can select this profile and then we can add kind of an element over here and you just delete this line we don't need it and you just and make sure that this line is pointing inward so it says this should be filled and you just, just go finish and this is what you get and also when the rain is falling over here this should be at a certain angle so the water flows outside it doesn't collect over here in the angle and how do you fix that you need to go again to view cut profile select this and then you go kind of like this and you make this at usually you should go at least two percent or one percent but let's go two for this kind of to just to be sure and let's place it here go all the way to the end make sure that the arrow is pointing downward go finish and yeah it looks more natural now this is how it would look like in real life okay so we have that element placed over there and one more element that's also very important we need to have this brick over here on the outside and to place that brick you need to go here to to annotate find the component and let me go back a second find component and here you have detail component and you have repeat detail component and with Revit 2019 the repeat uh, the default repeat component is brick you already have brick over here so you just kind of go like this and you place the element and you just kind of go like that and you have this facade brick over here and the reason why this wall over here this foundation wall is so thick it usually wouldn't be so thick it would be only underneath this block layer over here and this insulation is not that heavy so it can kind of attach to the wall itself but this facade brick is actually quite heavy so it does need to have something underneath holding it together so that's why our foundation wall is so thick over here okay and let's add the insulation so just go here to annotate find insulation there you go and you just kind of place the line let's see just kind of like that and then you can kind of place it in the center and you can make it wider so the width should be 12 I think yeah and if this number is higher it should be more dense or if you make it lower it will look nicer I, I like it when it's a bit wider like that okay so we have our insulation over here and let's see what else do we need we need to we have this membrane layer if you remember over here if you go here into edit type and you can see we have this membrane layer uh, here it is damp proofing and we can't see it because it's a zero but usually it's nice to have it showing here on the drawing so I'm just going to go here to annotate and find the detail line and search for some overhead or hidden line or whatever that's kind of a dash dash dashed line and just kind of place it like that and if you can't see it let's see at the demolition no hidden yeah they're all way too thin so you can kind of place it just a little bit above kind of like that and then I'm just going to place another line over it so let's just go with the regular like regular line over here or no lines now yeah, let's do thin line kind of like that and let's just go to the other side and then this kind of drops on top of that line so you get some line that looks like this this is usually how you represent the the membrane layer and your hydro insulation or insulation from water so it's nice to have that here as well okay so that's basically it on how you create this sort of a foundation detail in in Revit just as a call out in Revit that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day